What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting spicy in battle rap, man. And for the most part, man, y'all ain't gonna get the full coverage y'all deserve on this situation. Y'all know for a long time niggas been covering this thing up, afraid to address it, getting paid bribes to not say something. So I'm going to give y'all the real truth like I've been giving y'all from day one. And if you notice, everything I've been saying been true. Everything I've been saying been true. From my reliable sources, from the things I've been uh, told and found out. And this ain't going to be no different. Why is Easy so afraid of these recordings coming out on him? What is on the recording that he's so afraid of? There's many people who got the recordings, so they're about to come out. These recordings are about to come out. But let's get back to what, what is on the recordings that makes Easy so nervous that he don't want out. Like when he got into it with D.I. the Heeny Man, and when he got into it with D.I. the Heeny Man, he didn't know what D.I. the Heeny Man had. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. What I mean about the recording? What was going on? Easy was so happy to be having sex with Remy Ma that he couldn't hold it in. He began to share it with guys he confided in, who he thought was his homies and his guys. That what makes this battle so explosive when Geechee Gotti is exposing and breaking them down, when he actually get to addressing the guys in his corner. They only really there for clout chasing to have their name be attached to him because his name bugs when in reality, they're not even his real friends. And they don't even really like him. And they hate the position he in because let's just keep it real. When you're dealing with alpha males, no alpha male want to be up under anybody, especially a beta. Everybody know Easy is a beta, okay? He can't fight. He weak and he was broke until Remy picked him up. We're going to really, really break this thing down. We're going to really, really break it down the way it could only be broken down, okay? So let's get off into some real stuff then. So he was confiding in guys who he thought he could trust when he began to tell them all the graphic details about him and Remy Ma. At the same time, he began to tell the guys that in these recordings, if Remy was to get out of hand and out of place, guess what he was telling them guys? That he was going to drop the T to TMZ. He was going to drop the T to TMZ if she didn't cooperate or play right with him or tried to cross him in any type of way. That's why he was so afraid. And in his battle, uh, you got well, what I like about the battle with him and Geechee Gotti. What I like about the battle was that, um, it's the thing that was going on within the battle, apart from the raps, things like this. Watch what Geechee Gotti confront him on during the midst of the round where he's exposing him and he easy getting emotional. Watch what Gigi Gotti say. It's true. I'm playing with you. No, I'm not the shit. I'm playing. I'm playing. Now ask yourself. See that? He said, stop playing with me. You know I got these tapes. You know, I got the take. That wasn't part of the rap. That was him while they was reacting. That was him telling him, look, stop playing with me. You know, I got it. You know, I got these recordings. What's on the recordings? What is on the recordings? That's what's on the recordings. D.I. the Henny Man and him get into it. And when him and D.I. the Henny Man get into it, the out of him man was given the recordings also. In the process of the out of him man getting the recordings, he released some of the recordings when him and Easy got into it. 
remember before him and Easy had gotten to it, Easy had no knowledge of what D.I. the Henny Man had. He had no knowledge of what D.I. the Henny Man had. Remember, they were into it back and forth on Twitter. Easy was trying to expose D.I. the Henny Man, Henny Man on being a pedophile, trying to go against his, him and his baby mama. D.I. the Henny Man got offensive in that. And told him, hey, while you're talking, you better be quiet because I got some stuff on you that he didn't even know about. Easy, like, you ain't got nothing. Drop it. And, and literally called him out to pull his bluff to actually say if he don't drop it, this man is not credible. Don't listen to nothing he say. He ain't a real blogger. He had no idea what people in his corner had gave to D.I. the Henny Man. D.I. promised the people he was going to play the audio, but he only dropped a snippet of the audio, enough so that when Easy heard it, then he got wing of what was taking place and memorizing what that whole ordeal and conversation was about. He got afraid and scared. He got afraid and scared. And listen. Nothing else in life, you didn't get through your hands with $20 over. The fact that you snuck her quote unquote side nigga and she went with her side nigga explains everything. What you gonna say, Easy? That's AI. Only AI I know is Alan Iverson, homie. I even. Okay. Did you hear that? That's clear. That's clear. So basically, what did that just say? That just said what he just said in the battle. He said, if you heard a nigga did something to me over a female, and the reason why that nigga ain't dead is because I'm still got the female. That's what he just said in the audio. But what he just said in the audio, the nigga snuffed me. No, this is exactly what he said in the audio. He couldn't face the fact that it was over between them. See, not, not see, see that? Papoof couldn't face the fact that it was over between them since I'm the quote unquote side nigga. Notice he said, I'm the quote unquote side nigga. Huh? I'm the side nigga when she literally left you for me. This is not what y'all finding out. This is what I always knew. This is what I've been telling y'all from day one. Look what he says. How I'm the quote unquote side nigga, but she left with me. That's what he just said in the battle also. When he heard this, he knew that he was in trouble because he knew the rest of that conversation that D.I. didn't play was the part of the conversation when he was talking to whoever it was he was talking to. He was telling them, the moment Remy get out of pocket, the moment Remy get out of line, and she not playing by his rules or cooperating with what he want her to do, he dropping the T on her, and he's going to TMZ. So she need to be careful if this man ain't secretly recording her. If this man ain't got her text messages and saving them, that this man ain't Got some, listen, let me tell you, the dude is a rat, but she a rat too. So they deserve each other. I'm just keeping it real. We're going to get off into this. I'm going to break this thing down the way it really need to be broken down, the way they not going to touch on. He trying to blackmail her while she basically was using him. That's the only reason why he got some sex. She was using him and he was trying and he trying to blackmail her for collateral, for assurance, for assurance, because he think he's smart anyway. So he, I wouldn't doubt, got some secret things on her that she don't know about because she believe and she got him just wrapped around her finger, which some way she do, but at the same time, he let it be known to his guys who was recording him 
that he was going to set her up the moment she get out of pocket. That's what's on the secret recording that he afraid to let out. That's what's on the secret recordings that he afraid to get out. So now we see a, we see a few people got it. We know a few people who got the recordings. They finna release those recordings. Let me just say this. They finna release those recordings. It even got back to me. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm able to actually say these things. Because they, uh, they trying to cover it to some degree. But I'm telling y'all what I know to be facts. What I know to be true. And my reliable sources haven't been wrong yet. And my reliable sources heard the tape. That's why he afraid to let it out. And remember, soon D out of Henny Man dropped this, what did Easy do? He immediately waved the right flag and told him, don't play no more. D out of Henny Man was supposed to play the rest of the recording. He didn't play the rest of the recording. Easy immediately called the truth. Immediately called the truth. And from what I'm hearing, allegedly, he gave him some money, too, to be quiet. I don't really know if that's really true, true. But that's what I'm hearing from some reliable people. So he afraid of those recorders coming out because he messed up. He said a little bit too much to the wrong people that put it out here because, again, he don't get it. Your own corner jealous of you. They don't like you. And they know you soft. Come on. They know you got them because you scared. They know you want them around them because of that. And they just, and look, let me tell you something. And that men, they don't like the fact that you having sex with Remy. They would rather it be them because they think they the better man. Come on now. They don't like just being on the side while you're in front of the camera talking and doing all that. They want to talk. They want to expose you. Look, we're in the era of clout chasing, okay? If you don't know this stuff, <laughs> trying to tell you. If you don't know this by now, good luck, brother. But that's a fact. That's what he's afraid of, those secret recordings actually exposing it that he said that he gonna set Remy up and go to TMZ if if she try to play him in any type of way he don't want her finding out about that he don't want her knowing that he plotting on her he don't want her knowing that he been secretly he been secretly gathering information and dirt on her at the same time screwing her. <laughs> Facts. You sleeping with the enemy, girl. <laughs> you left a man who actually who you actually could trust, who actually did love you, who actually did have your best interest to go sleep with a bum. You had to build up like damn build a bear. You had to build up <laughs> like build the bell. You got this nigga teeth fixed. You start dressing him up in nice clothes. Then you start putting money in his pocket. You took a you <laughs> you picked up a nigga like like two can play that game. What was that? Wasn't that the, the two can play that game? Or how to be a player with Bobby Brown with the bum <laughs> the girl picked up, fixed up, got his teeth fixed and everything. <laughs> Oh man, that's gonna be so funny. Yeah, yeah, A Dep, you got the clip and edit that. I is either two could play that game or how to be a player when Bobby Brown, the ugly dude with the effed up teeth and the girl with the money, pick him up and get his teeth fixed and dress him up and things like that. Then put him on and then he Yeah. That's what you did. It's your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment that's a question, it's yours. The secret recordings will be out soon. I told you, don't matter. Bro, you better off just letting them put that out. I told you. Listen, that's another story, 
That's another story. But you better off just letting them put that out. I'd be damned if I let somebody hold something over my head because it's going to come out anyway. You ain't finna blackmail me. It's going to come out anyway. So I'd rather it come out right now while, while everything is boiling over anyway. Let it come out. Let, let me deal with what I got to deal with. Eventually, somebody else will be the story next week. With that being said, it's your boy Bible Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours.